Hello, here's a request video, what I think about uh, Tucson. I already did a video, what I think about Tucson. I was there from like November of 2010 to like March of or February or something of 2011. I was there for like four months. It was the first city that I lived in, in my van. Well, I was in Moab for like a month or something and then I went into uh, Tucson. Um, so uh, somebody wants me to do the video about it because they're they really like it and they're planning on moving there with their fiance. So congratulations. Um, yeah, I like Tucson. Tucson is one of those uh, visual gems of the world because of uh, those saguaro cactuses and uh, especially Mount Lemon. Tucson is um, really far south. That's why I chose to go there because it was the winter time, and I wanted to go to a place that was warm. Um, it's like an hour north of the border with Mexico and um, so it's really warm and it's it's like a nice perfect you know t-shirt temperature type of place in the winter time and then just crazy hot in the summer um, there's great mountain biking there just to the eastern side of it um, right out of the city limits so it's legal to live in your car you know because you can live in your car outside of the city limits which is pretty close to downtown. Um, I don't know how big Tucson is. It's probably a, like a couple hundred thousand or something. Um, it's a city. It's definitely a city. Um, but uh, I think it's the second biggest city in Arizona. It's like three three hours southeast of, uh, of uh, Phoenix, which is another beautiful city. Um, but yeah, there's some great mountain biking just to the west of it. Uh, through all those saguaro cactuses, the problem is you can't go on a bike ride without getting like six flats. It's insane because those cactuses have uh, thorns just all over the place, and so you have to you have to stay on the trail. But even if you stay on the trail, you're going to get flats. So you just have to get good at fixing flats all the time, you know. And uh, I, if I lived there, I would get good at uh, filling up all of the um, your tubes with that goop stuff so that the flat can fix itself, and then just so, man, I can't wait until they invent tires that, that are filled with foam that you can just get punctured a bunch of times and they still keep going. They need to invent those, even if they weigh more and they're less, uh, there's less, um, 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 like, um, you know, uh, rollability, that it would still be worth it to use because they're just, they're, uh, it's a pain. But then the mountain biking is totally worth it. The mountain biking is great there. Um, in the Sahuero National Park, you have it. And even the road biking is awesome there. Uh, there's this trail, that, there's this road that goes over this big pass just west of it. Um, it's a nice climb. But, but Mount Lemon is the jewel of Tucson. There's a ski resort on the top of Mount Lemon. Um, I was there in the wintertime. I should have skied there once just, to, just for the experience. I went up there in the fall before any snow fell. And... Um, you know, it was like totally hot in Tucson, and then you drive up to the top of Mount Lemon, and it's nice and crispy cool. And, uh, you know, so in the middle of the summer, because Mount, like, Tucson is really low. It's like, you know, 500 feet in elevation or something like that. I don't know what it is, but Mount Lemon is like 9,000 feet high, so it's a huge climb. It's like the it's like as big as the biggest climb in Colorado, you know, from Boulder to the, to the top of, um, um, oh, man, I can't remember the pass. Um, in the Rocky Mountain National Park. It's like that big, you know, but it goes straight up. So it's as far as the climb, it's great. I think they have bike races up there. And I, I was going to ride my bike all the way to the top, but I went up and, and it just got too cold because it was at night because I, I didn't get started until really late because I, dis I got distracted by something. And, um, and But then I tried to ride up it during the day and I only went up like halfway because I... I guess I didn't feel like going all the way. And then I never actually managed to ride to the top. I wish I did. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it can be totally hot in the summertime and then in, in Tucson. And then you just drive up to the top of that mountain and it's nice and crispy cool. You're at 9,000 feet. And there's great um, camping areas. I camped up there a day or two, um, up like near the top of the mountain. And great views. Um, lots of, uh, you know, out lookouts. Um, where you're way above the city and uh, it's beautiful. You know, in the wintertime, you can go skiing. You can, there's a ski resort an hour north of Mexico. It's the southernmost ski resort in America, probably the southernmost ski resort in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, 
and um, yeah, and uh, the city itself, it's, it has a really uh, big bicycling culture, so there's lots of cyclists that meet at this coffee shop uh, right across the street from the library on the eastern side of Tucson, and they get together and then they ride up Mount Lemon and they ride around. I'm nice to see them uh, gather. And, uh, and then they have these big, these big group rides that start at like 8 in the morning um, on the western side of the uh, campus of University of uh, Arizona. Um, where there's like, I guess in the wintertime, they have them in the wintertime and there's there like 100 people that go on them and pros do them and stuff because it's a great place to ride in the, in the summertime. I mean in the wintertime. The campus is really pretty too. It's right there in the center of downtown um, Tucson. And... Um, it's a pretty big campus, and uh, it's a beautiful campus. They have this, you know, the central, like, area, central walkway. I like campuses that have a good central, you know, area to them. Um, yeah, it's, it's in the desert, though, so there's, there aren't houses with lawns. They have, like, uh, houses with just, you know, gravel in the front of them. And, uh, and the eastern side of Tucson, right outside the city limits, it's still the city, but it's outside the city limits, so it's legal to live in your car. But, uh, yeah, the houses are really spread out, and it looks like a nice place. There's this one on the southeastern edge of the city. There's this uh, other Sequero National Park that you can drive around or even ride around. I drove, but you can ride around um, all these, like, undulating hills through all those Sequero cactuses. Those Sequero or Sequero cactuses are, like, as big as trees, but they look like cactuses, and they're really beautiful. There used to be a whole bunch of them. It was kind of sad to look at the different pictures from the time lapses, but it used to be a forest of them. And now there's lots, but um, and there's even some in, within the city. Um, it, uh, it seemed like a pretty, it seemed to me like a pretty uh, um, safe city. Uh, the cops told me it had the uh, highest burglary rate in America, though, house burglary rate. And uh, there, the people, the people are friendly, you know, it's a friendly, friendly place generally, but I saw more like angry kind of, um, people there than, um, any other place in America that I can think of. So there is some tension. It, when you turn on the radio, there's a whole lot of, um, hardcore right wing people on the radio, like, um, Rick Levine. Is that that guy's name? The guy who talks like this, it's really pissed off all the time. Um, and then um, Laura, Laura Ingram, um, Michael Savage. You hear these people on the radio all the time. Just, you know, I guess they're freaked out about all the Mexican immigration in there. Um, and you do see a lot of Hispanics there in Tucson. Um, but it's, it's more white than the eastern part of Houston. Eastern part of Houston is all black and Hispanic. I didn't see any black people there, though. I don't recall seeing but there's a lot of white people. Um, the uh, infrastructure isn't as rich, isn't as, like the roads aren't as uh, well maintained as, as Phoenix. Phoenix is really wealthy. Roads are, especially um, Tempe, it's just really well, like, you know, well paved roads and lights and signs are really good. Tucson's not like that, but it's, uh, but it's good enough. Um, and uh, yeah, the traffic's not too bad. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a cool place, man. If if you move to Tucson, you should definitely get into cycling, man. Uh, especially in the winter time. Um, and uh, and then get into mountain biking in the summer. I wanted to do mountain biking. I wanted to go there to mountain bike a lot, but then my bike broke. But you could there are all these like big riverbeds that you could ride up the riverbed in the gravel um, for miles and miles. Um, that'd be fun. Oh, and there's also other mountains besides Mount Lemmon. You got Mount Lemmon on the eastern side, but then you have some other hills that you can go to the top of. So there's a lot of nature there. So uh, have fun in Tucson.